All right, YouTube. So here, what I have for you now is um, my stock ammo, my boxes that I have. Um, used to be in the paintballing, so I had some old boxes from paintballing, um, some game face boxes, as you can see here, real heavy duty plastic. <clears throat> um, they're not weather tight. Mine, I took and took some weather stripping and run around the the inside lip here you can't see it but it's it's just some regular window stripping that I had and I just cut it up into some small strips got real nice heavy duty lock on it got a little um little loop here so you can stick your lock through there and lock it all up um also have a little flip up lid here in the top not real big holds my tools and stuff like that some extra parts I take these some of these out shooting with me this one this one that I just showed you is one of my takeout shooting like I said it's just got my tools my cleaning kit and all that good stuff in it and this one that I have here this one isn't one that I carry out a lot it's the same identical box they got real nice carrying handles on them. This one is my shit hits the fan ammo supply. One of very, very many. Um, in here we just have just my couple random things. Just this, is just a scope mount for my Mossberg. But got some core lock. These are old 30 out six boxes. Not what's in them. But they are old 30 out 6 boxes. I'll show you those in a second. Have a a shot sale box here. As you can see, it says 12 gauge, 25. Well, it doesn't say 25. It holds 25 of any size. Inside of here, I have three trays full of shotgun shells. Each one of them holds 50. This one only has like 45 in it because I got a couple out to hold my powder in the middle. The down on the edges I have here. As you can see, it's just layered up. So I have 50, 50, 50, 150. I have about, then there's another 25 in here. So I have about 200 rounds in here. I got, like I said, I got a bunch of loose ones just running around in here. Um, like I said, I'll show you. This is some of my, um, I didn't know it was backwards, but, um, 762x54R full metal jackets, as you can see. I am shooting, I think these are 174, 174 grain, full metal jacket, zinc tip, I think they are, military surplus stuff, real cheap ammo, just take it out shooting a lot, and like the way it performs and all that, so I just kept up with it. This one I have here is some other rifle rounds. They're not 762. But these are actually old World War II 1942 full metal jacket rounds. And then in this box here, I have is my British 303. I got some full metal jackets as you can see. Um see if you can see the the year on these. Um, not sure if you can see it or not, but they do say 1942, stamped right into the casing. As you can see, that one's silver, and then this one I have here is a copper color. I don't know what the difference is on them or anything like that. thought that was pretty cool. Got a couple more floating around. Then I have here is my 180 grain core locks British 303. 
Yeah, it's just some of my, my stockpile that I have of my SHTF supply and bullets and all that. And like I showed you, my dry boxes to hold my ammo. I have a couple more, like I said, that are just filled up, just sitting around. Never, never know when something's going to happen, so you always got to be prepared. But like I said, I think you can pick these up at, I have, they're at my local gun store, um, Gander Mountain. They're a little bigger than these. I think they have these same ones. Don't really like the ones that they sell. They're, they're pretty expensive for what they are. But like I said, mine were old, um, paintball boxes that I bought offline a long while ago. But definitely like them, um. Let me know what you think about them, and if you if you have any yourself or anything like that, um, let me know, and thanks for watching.